is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below <clears throat> we have the magician with the knight of cups in reverse here so there is a lot of love here okay but someone's having a hard time opening up opening themselves up emotionally some are expressing themselves okay although there is a lot of love here and at the same time wanting to manifest a new opportunity or a new beginning here okay so if you there's someone here who's silently in love with you all right they're keeping themselves emotionally shut down because they don't want to be vulnerable towards you okay or they're just not uh, but this is definitely someone who's wanting to come back towards you okay this is also a return of someone with a petitioner yeah, someone is wanting uh, to make something happen between you guys okay this is someone who wants a new beginning with you and they're very confident okay that they can make it happen <clears throat> all right how do you see yourself in this connection leo we have the eight of swords in reverse with the ace of wands in reverse so it looks like leo you are releasing yourself from a situation that you have felt very stuck tied and bound to okay you felt very restricted you felt stuck into the situation okay you couldn't move on but you're finally releasing yourself because with the ace of wands in reverse here there's a lack of enthusiasm okay even if you have a lot of passion for this person here there's no action being taken for you okay but i think you're bored of a situation because the situation is just getting nowhere you could have felt very stuck with this person you could have felt that you just uh, cannot release yourself from this um person or situation could be someone who is very toxic okay but you're freeing yourself all right you're freeing yourself and trying to um and literally getting you are letting go of this person okay where you once felt you couldn't let go of them but you are because there is this lack there's no uh, attraction here anymore lack of action um lack of enthusiasm also is what i say okay maybe you had too many false starts out here okay <coughs> we are sorry we have a moment in reverse here that just wanted to come out okay so yeah there has been some kind of epiphany or some kind of realization that you have okay mm. <clears throat> just give me a second <clears throat> yeah i think you don't want to start with this person you don't want to new start with this person okay you're bored of those uh false starts over and over again Okay, let's see. All right, how does this person see themselves in this situation with Leo? Nine of Cups. This person is probably uh, focused on their happiness. Okay, they're focused on their desires. They're focused on what makes them happy. They do see you as a wish fulfillment out here. Okay, but with the Four of Swords, yeah, the problem here is that this. This person out here, I feel they're doing a lot of thinking. Okay, they're doing a lot of thinking, a lot of healing, probably. Okay, there is probably no contact, no communication between you guys. They're thinking a lot about you. You're on their mind, but I think they're resting, they're healing. They're trying to. They're taking a step back. Yeah, they need their space. They're very withdrawn right now, not opening up. But yeah, this is someone who's trying to rest and heal, and they're taking a break from this connection. Okay, they're trying to figure something out, but. Uh, Yeah, with the nine of cups here, they're very focused on what makes them happy. You know, focus on their desires. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. What action will Leo take towards this person? <clears throat> Seven of cups with the queen of wands in reverse here. I think you dream about this person, okay? With the seven of cups, you dream about this person, okay? You have a lot of. Um, I'm saying you're very confused, okay? But you're daydreaming about this person for sure. You're living in the future. You're looking at something that you want with this person, okay? But uh, I feel somehow, somehow, with the Queen of Wands in reverse here, you're not taking action towards this person. Okay? You're lacking the motivation. Maybe this person is someone who does not make you feel very secure. and very confident about the connection okay because of which you're you're choosing to step back okay again i feel you're looking at this relationship wearing rose colored glasses all right but there's a lot of confusion here either you feel this person is keeping your option their options open so you don't know where you stand okay or you want to keep an open mind because of which you're not taking action towards this person okay you're being very laid back very passive approach towards this person here 
What action will this person take to Leo? What action will this person take to Leo? Alright. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Swords in reverse with the Six of Wands here. Alright, this person wants commitment with you, Leo. They do. This person has a tendency of, you know, like, not being honest about their feelings, their agendas, their intentions. You know, this is someone, you know, who doesn't always tell you how they really feel, okay? They try to get away with their feelings and escape this, okay? So, yeah, this is someone who's always been a taker in your life, all right? But I feel this is someone who's being very deceptive about the way they feel about you, okay? There's very sneaky behavior. But, yes, they do have a tendency of running back to you again and again, okay? So, very on and off energy is what I'm getting. And I feel this person is very feeling very guilty of this is someone who is probably running away from commitment, running away from giving this uh, relationship a tag or running away from commitment or running away from moving things to high levels of commitment out here okay but now this person is guilty okay and they want to turn on you leave and they're coming towards you wanting to make this uh wanting to give you the public recognition that you deserve okay and uh, they want your attention but they're wanting to put a label on this connection okay they want to make things efficient they want to they want victory with you and they're coming back for sure they are what's well, you're just confused daydreaming of them they're coming back i guess they're the magician here okay like i said knight of cups it was someone who's not wanting to be vulnerable okay that's the current situation but in the near future that's the action they're going to take all right <clears throat> how do how does leo view this person view this person <coughs> we have the empress in reverse with the four of wands you definitely view this as someone who you want something long term with you view them as marriage material okay you definitely look at them as someone you wanted a lot marriage with or someone who you're already married to okay doesn't have to be but you look at them as someone you know who's your twin flame okay and you're thinking long term with this person you want harmony with this person but someone who you want a very safe and secure uh, relationship with for sure all right but with empress in reverse here you feel that this is someone who's just not eating the connection okay they're not giving into the connection they're not giving this connection the nourishment the attention that that it needs because of which there is no growth no expansion and this is a situation which is just going nowhere. Okay, so your focus to this to this person here with the four of wands here is you do look at them as long term. Okay, you do look at them as your twin flame. But unfortunately, you feel this person is someone who's just not ready for that stable commitment or for that stable um, relationship. All right, but they're coming in. You view them correctly, but they're still they're coming in, wanting to prove to you exactly what they're not. <clears throat> they're gonna prove you wrong. Tell me, how does this person view Leo? How does this person view Leo? Yeah, of course, right? They view you as the five of cups in reverse, of course, right? And uh, the four of pentacles. They did view you as someone who was, who's been crying over spilt milk for a while, but now they view you as someone who's no more crying over spilt milk. You're letting go of the past. You're not being concerned or bothered about the past anymore. You don't give a shit about the breakup that happened in the past year, and you're probably even moving forward. And with the Four of Pentacles here, they see you in a state of shutdown. You're just not ready to open up. You're protecting your heart chakra, and you're just shut down, okay? You're not opening up very closed off you're holding on tightly to the communication not investing you're choosing to with being to being closed off you know and there's no communication from your side <coughs> because you're closed off right that's why they're coming in <coughs> what is the blockage what are the challenges what is the blockage for this connection the star someone's losing faith and hope okay that this connection will ever work out there's one person here. So I think Leo, this is you who's looking at this relationship in a very negative mindset, okay? The star out here is something very dusty, fated, but you're not being able to wait for it, okay? This is testing your patience. Universe is testing your patience about how badly you want this connection. Why the star in reverse is the blockage here? Five of Wands. 
<clears throat> because there has been too much of conflict, too much of fights between you guys. Okay, you guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and it's probably because you're not fighting for this relationship anymore. Is also what I'm getting. Yeah, you probably have backed out from fighting for this. Okay, you're giving up because this person brings a lot of drama, chaos in your life, or it's just that you're done with the competition. Okay, you don't want to keep fighting for this person. You don't want to fight for a spot. You know, this person probably keeps you wondering about where you stand in their life, and you're like, you know what? Done. I'm just it. I'm gone. There is no hope in this relationship. <coughs> See again, I'm getting a lot of false starts. Okay, every single time this person has a tendency of coming back towards you. Okay, so they keep having a tendency of restarting the cycle, restarting the cycle with you. So you're going in circles with this person, and this time you're pretty much like this time it's not going to be me who's going to take action towards you, and because you're not taking action. Because you're so close off, because you're moving on, or even like letting this person go, no more thinking about them. That's when they're coming in with that commitment. Okay, good going. Tell me, what is the near future of this connection? Reverse and the high priestess, dude. How am I supposed to interpret this? <laughs> so that's um, the moon in reverse. Clearly, is something where the truth is being revealed, right? How do I say this? <clears throat> let's see. Okay, let's try this. So, to me, with the high priestess here, I feel that there's someone here who's trusting that intuition. There's going to be some truth that is going to be revealed, and it's going to be up to you, Leo, to. Trust your intuition and make a decision. Okay, I feel with the moon in reverse here, someone's going to finally reveal their feelings. Okay, they're going to trust their intuition. Okay, but I think this is two different people. This person is coming in towards you, right? And they're going to let you know what their real intentions are, what they really feel about you. The truth is going to be revealed. You're going to get a lot of clarity in the situation. And with the high priestess here, I think you're going to have to trust your intuition, or I feel you already knew this was happening. Okay. Somewhere, somehow, I feel with the high priestess, you already knew that they were coming in. Okay, they were going to express their feelings. They were finally going to remove that veil of their heart, veil of their, um, you know, if they were wearing a false mask, that false mask is falling. Okay, it's getting off. They're getting off the false mask. They're going to show you what they really want from you, what they really feel for you. Okay, with the high priestess here, I feel you're going to have to trust your intuition. Okay, or this is what your intuition already knew. Whatever, take it how it resonates. But I feel you already knew this was happening. Okay, because you, my friend, on your side, I feel you've completely let this person go, and that's how they even view you with the Five of Cups in reverse here. You're detaching completely. You're no more attached. Okay, you could have been you you could have been the only one fighting for this connection. Okay, but this time you're just laid back, just not doing anything about it, and that's why they're coming in. Okay, but you already knew that this person is going to reveal. Okay, it's like. Yeah, like I knew it. You were coming towards me, but yeah, that's what I have for you, Leo. They're coming in, telling you what they really feel. They're feeling guilty. They want to take things forward with you. Put a label on this connection here, okay? Their focus is on your on you, and you are their wish fulfillment, their happiness, okay? And with the magic magician here, this person definitely is hell bent on making things happen with you. Okay, they're very confident about this. They may come off as someone emotionally unexpressive or not wanting to be vulnerable, but that's just a, their defense mechanism, okay? What's going on really behind the scenes is that they're coming towards you, and they want to have their dream with you. All right, beautiful reading. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear from you, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.